afternoon, everyone. How are you going today? All right, looks like we've got a... Don't know what it is here. What have we got here? Let's have a look. Oh, who's that? There's a Sophia in there. Okay, the one that we just found. Sophia, can you pick a stretch for us to do today? Touching your toes stretch. Sitting down, touching your toes stretch. Awesome work. Have you got freshly painted toenails and fingernails? Yeah. Whoa, aren't you lucky? Other side. That's the way. Perfect work, guys. Put your legs straight. We're going to have our legs straight to do that stretch. Oh, you can't. All right, Alyssa, you pick us down the stretch for us. No, 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 you pick one. I asked you to pick one. Come on. Okay, we'll tie ourselves in a knot stretch. Okay. Other side. <laughs> All right, Alyssa is going to choose a stretch for us. Butterfly stretch is what we're going to do. Alyssa's going to choose us a stretch. So what is it? Skydiver stretch. Skydiver stretch. So hold your legs and pull yourself up. Like a skydiver. Skydiving through the sky. Okay, standing up and balanced thigh stretch. That please, Sophia, come on. Yeah. Right, do your last stretch now, go. And then other leg. We've only got smaller with that. No. Just today. I'm going to find it after. And then the last stretch we're going to do, which is a martial arts stretch. Nice and wide, then squat on one and stretch your other one. And our toe up on the martial arts stretch. Good job. And let's move it on to the other side. And then toes up, martial arts stretch. Okay, we are on our feet, jogging and punching. Do some more straight punching. And some more uppercuts. And time, okay. If we've got a bit of an area, let's jog around us in a circle. Let's go. Yeah, jog around the train tracks. So just jogging around in a circle. Sideways jogging. Sideways. So go sideways and do it. And then turn around and go the other sideways. Not backwards, but turn around like what Alyssa did. That's 
that's the way, keep going. What about running backwards? Have a look over your shoulder when you do it. Keep going the same way. Running backwards. Okay, and time. All right. Okay, so today what we're going to do, we're going to practice some roundhouse kicks. So, what I've got prepared is, is a kick pad. Now, we're not going to kick the kick pad to start with. What we're going to do, we're going to kick over the top of the kick pad and do a full turn. All right, so I'll do a quick demonstration of how I would do that. So, I would have the kick pad being able to stand itself up. And that makes it work. Alright, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw my... Uh, thank you, Sophia. I really needed you to do that for me. So what I'll do, I'll do my kick. So I step in, do my kick over the top of the kick pad. After what we'll do is we're going to put a target up here and they can kick at it. But what I've been noticing and a bit of feedback that I've been getting is that our kicks aren't getting up to height and coming through. So, to be able to practice that, that's what we're going to do. We're going to come up and over the top of the kick pad. Now, I've got Alyssa here, she's nearly seven, and I know that she can kick at this height here, which is at about her arm height. But then I've got Sophia, she's three and a half, and so she's going to kick the pad when it's down on its side. So I'm sure there's something that you've got around the house that you could use, maybe a pillow or cushion or something that we could put up right to get them to kick over the top of it. We just want to make sure that whatever we choose, it's not like a chair, say, and then they kick the leg of the chair when they meet, when they don't get the right height. All right, so we'll do it with our dominant leg first. So I'll get um, Alyssa to show it first. She's in a stance. She'll make us, see I've got this really low. I would have it higher for um, someone her age and then she'll throw a kick over the top of that pad. Perfect, well done, good job. Now, we also practice switch kicks over the top of that. So what she'd have to do is do a switch and then throw the kick over the top of that pad. Then what we'll do is I'll get a tie pad and then she'll be able to kick over the top of this, hit the tie pad that I'm holding here and then throw a kick into that. All right, so let's just practice getting our kicks to go up and over the top of the kick pad. Yeah, so I'll put this up like this, and then we'll use our right leg to kick up and over the top of the kick pad. Now, we must make sure we do three things. First thing, what are you gonna make sure you do? Very first thing you do before you can do anything, Alyssa? Stance. Stance, so you're getting your stance. So a good stance, Guard up. The second thing, hot you've got to make us, you've got to do hot tin roof, and then you've got to make a step before you kick. You just do a step. No, you're going to kick with your right leg, so you're going to do a step with your left leg. That's going to set the kick up. Then throw the kick over the top. All right, let's practice that all in one go. So in your stance. So let's go through the steps again, please, guys. So. We go, stance, hot tin roof, make a step, throw the kick. I want your kick to go over the top of the pad, Alyssa. Over the top, all right, ready? Let's go again. Well done, do that again. That's the way. So we'll keep practicing that. Now, what I want also you to do is focus on throwing your arm down on the same side as when you kick. So if you kick with your right leg, I might get Alyssa to come over on this side so you can see that. So when she kicks with her right leg, she'll throw her right arm in a downward direction to kick over the top of it. Let's go again, Alyssa. Let's do another one. Let's make sure the kick goes over the top. Very good. All right, now that we've got that, We'll get a pad. It can be a focus pad. It could be another one of these kick pads, or it could be a tie pad. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tie pad on today. But what Candice is going to do, she's going to have a hand pad. So she can put the hand pad on for Sophia to throw her. Sophia's going to throw this kick, so you want on that. All right. So we don't want to put the target like this, right? On this side of it. We want to put it a little bit on this side of it so they kick up, go through and over the top of the kick pad, hit the target, and then go back to where they started from. All right? And that's without hitting this pad at all. No, I did it side on so they could see at home. All right. So, you're going to throw your kick over the top and then go back. Don't spin through. Go back, okay? You can't spin. That's it. Yeah, good. Perfect. That's it. So we've got to kick and then go back there. We don't want to try to spin through. We only spin through if we're practicing or we miss. So if I pulled this out the way and Alyssa missed, then she'd do a spin like that. But this time she hits, so she doesn't. She returns back. Very nice kick. Back in the stance. Let's do another one. Whoa, awesome work. So do you get what we're doing, guys? We're going, we're, we're creating a, a target here and we're going to come over the top. That's it. I'm going to try not to, try not to hit the kick pad, but still kick the tie pad. Good work. That was. We'll just do that one for another one more minute. <laughs> How you going on that side over there? Why don't you get the, the, the pad on, like side on, Candice, rather than frontal? This one? So put that in between your legs. Oh, okay. So it's, it's very hard for her to return her leg. It's going to come all the way back. She's kind of like a short cut. That's it. All right, we've got a few more kicks to go. Perfect, Alyssa. Get in your stance. That's it. One more. Okay, awesome. Great work, guys. All right. Okay, so this time what we're going to do, we're going to practice now the switch kick. So. Put the kick pad there, ready, like we did last time. And now Alyssa's got to do a switch. So when she switch, she's got her stance exactly opposite to the, st the stance that they had. But what we'd like to do is have an angle on this front foot. See that? That's like your step that you did on the other leg. And then throw your kick over the top and do a spin because we're intentionally missing and not having a target. So. We've got an extra thing that we've got to do here, which is the switch. But the switch takes the place of the step on the other side. So, if the step one stands, step two, hot tin roof, step three, switch, and then have a good angle on your foot, and then number four is do the kick. Very nice, Alyssa. Try that again. One, two, three, four. Good, so remember, stands, hot tin roof, switch, and then kick. And then your arm on the same side as the one that's kicking is gonna drive down to help your balance and power. Can you show that again? So you're in your stands, switch, kick, and swing your arm, wrong arm. This one, wrong arm down. Which arm are you gonna um, swing down? That's the one, same side as the kick. So you get in your stance. Switch. Wrong arm again. So which arm are you going to swing down? Okay, that arm. Ready? Try again. But you've got to swing it as it happens, not beforehand. And one more try. Let's try to get this right this time. <laughs> I think that she might be thinking it's a bit silly now. Okay, so have a, not a silly one, but a really good one, without trying to be silly. Okay, 
Okay, so you didn't do the kick the, the, the best. Come on, one more, please. Okay, so now that we've sort of got that, let's put a cut on, and then now they'll do the opposite on the other side, kicking the pad. Remember to put the target on the other side, not the front side. Okay, so they're gonna do the switch. Oh, we'll come around this side, Lisa, so they can see you. No spin through, okay? Just remember, guys, because the listener has tried it then and I tell her all the time. No spin through when you kick and you make contact. You return back to your stance. No spin through. You only spin through when you practice without a target or you miss. All right? Otherwise, you return back to your stance. All right, let's try this. Let's see if we can... Are we doing chop kicks, are we? No, it's not like a chop kick because chop kick's got a different thing altogether. Okay, let's try it. Switch. Kick. Not too bad. What you've got to do is flex your foot. Don't kick with your toes. And I don't know what you guys are doing at home there. I haven't got too many guys on the Zoom for me to be able to get a bit of feedback with. But Alyssa was not extending her foot like this. She was kicking with her foot like that and the toes were hitting like this. And that is gonna do damage. And we don't wanna do that. So we wanna extend the foot. All right, so let's have a practice of that again. We did it again. And that hurt, didn't it? That's why we don't wanna do it that way. maybe a bit high for her. So I'm going to drop it down because she's continuing to kick with her toes. So if I've dropped it down, we'll see if that gets her to kick it with her, with her actual shin and her foot. Maybe a little bit better. All right, let's put it back up again and see if we can get it right. That's better. That's the way to do it. Good girl, that's it. And then she's returning back to her stance. Don't pull your leg in, put it back. Sometimes I think it's a good way to show them is actually take them through the, through the motion. So this would be, if you're gonna hold that there like that, that'd be good, you hold that there? Okay, so Alyssa does her switch. Okay, now, I'm gonna take her through the motion of this. The motion is to kick and then return and return. Okay, so it's a switch. Switch. Now, this is where the kick's got to come back to. So we go kick, back, step back. Ready to start again. All right, so that's the path we've got to take the body through. All right, so let's see if that's now helped Alyssa get the right path. Okay, over here now. All right, so let's see. Bit better. So you're spinning through, Lisa. It's really important, guys, they're not trying to spin through like that. They're so vulnerable to an attack straight after they've tried to strike. And if you're spinning through, you're not putting power in because you're letting your power diminish to make the actual spin happen. So don't spin through. Okay, so let's try that again. All right, let's try a couple more and we'll give the kids a minute break, I think. We're starting to really like, they're losing a lot of concentration. I don't know how they're going at home. Okay, time. Let's have one minute break and we'll come straight back and try to get that get going again. All right, let's go. I don't know how you guys are going at home. I know it can be really frustrating at times where they just don't want to do what you're asking of them. 
and I, I, don't, I don't know why. Very frustrating. For, for me, as, a, as, a, as a, like a parent, like trying to teach Alyssa or, and Sophia, very highly frustrating. And I hear this from parents all the time like about that. And then when someone else is coaching them, they do so much better than when it's me. Like when I've got either Jay or, or some of the other guys in there and, and, and training them, they seem to respond better than when it's me. And I don't, with you guys at home, you're probably finding this same thing, this same frustration that I'm feeling. And I've really got to find myself, pull it back a level or two, Brett, come on. And not get, get agitated and start to get upset because they're just not doing what I want them to do. So I don't know how you guys are going at home with that, but I hope it's a bit better than what we are. Now, I'm gonna ask them to come back on. Let's go, guys. Hopefully we can get the next 10 minutes out, please. <laughs> All right. So I'd like to go back over that again, but what we'll do is we won't go back to the right leg now. We'll go back to doing the left leg again, and then we'll go back to the right leg right at the end. All right. So let's see if we can get a bit more focus. Okay. Now, are you going to be focused? Give me five for focusness. Let's go. All right. Switch kick. Back in the stands. Good girl. Remember, we don't want to use our toes, we want to use our shin. And what's called our instep. Who at home knows what the instep is? The instep is this part here. So we kick with our shin and our instep. Our shin and our instep, not with our foot. All right, so we want to use our shin and our instep to throw the kick. Now, you're not allowed to hit this one, Lisa. That's it, that was a good one. Very good, nicely balanced. That's it. That's the way, Alyssa. Don't pull at it, okay, come on. Extend your leg, have a straight leg. See, I'm not trying to kick it. Use your shin. We go one 30, 30 seconds more for the end of this round. Was that a good one? Was that a good one? Yes. Was that a good one? No, it wasn't. You used your toe. Come on. If you kick me with your toe, you break it. You don't want to break your toe, do you? Then use your foot and your shin. You used your toe. It's going to break. Two more. One more. Okay. All right, why don't you stand on your head for a second or two. Let's go, stand on your head for a second. Come on, what about you? Stand on your head. Come on, who else can stand on their head at home? Yeah. You're doing a headstand. All right, why don't we now go back to practicing the kicking on the right side. All right, we can do some more headstands. And do it. Would you like to do some rolls? We'll do some rolls after we finish this. No, not yet. After. We can do some rolls, guys. I know you all like to do rolls. We can do cartwheels too. And, and handstands. And handstands. But I still need another two minutes out of you guys in focus. Okay. So we're now going back to the first technique. Kicking with the right leg. Remember the steps. Stands. Hot tin roof. Step. Then kick. Four steps. Stands. Hot tin roof. Step. Then kick. Back to stands. Good work. Good work. Good.
That is awesome, Alyssa. Very good. Nice work. That's a pretty impressive kick out of a six and a half year old. Even if that I'm saying that about my own daughter, it's still a really nice technical kick. Back into stance. Good girl. There's a spin on the foot, the arm gets thrown down. Now what we've got to do, our next step, and um, my personally is to get her left kick to match this kick and my goal is by her birthday which I've only got two more months of training to get her to do it. Make sure you make a step every time. So what would be your guys goal? I'd love to hear some of your guys' goal. What would you like to be able to do? Alyssa wanted to be able to kick with her left leg by her birthday and also ride a bike without trainer wheels by her birthday. So we've been practicing left kicks and riding bike. Awesome work. Alright, can you tell the camera, I'll just stop there guys, I'm going to get Alyssa to tell the camera the four steps, you guys at home, what we have to do to make a kick work. So what was the first step? Um, stance. Your stance. What's the second thing? Got up. And? What's that thing you're doing with your feet called? Hot, hot, hot. Hot tin roof. Hot roof. Then What's then the then third then thing? Throw your arm down. No, that, the step. Yes, and then the kick with the arm down. Yeah? So let's do this four steps. Step one, stance. And guard. Stance and guard, that sort of goes together. I don't, I don't think of it like this, step one, stance. Step two, guard. I think of it all in one go. Stance and guard, that goes together. That's all one part of standing correctly to assume a Muay Thai stance. So, if I ask for a Muay Thai stance, I don't expect just the feet to go in the right spot, the arms to dangle. I expect the guard to come up too. Maybe they don't do hot tin roof, but it's not a Muay Thai stance if they've got arms dangling down and getting going to get punched or kicked in the head. So, like show me a Muay Thai stance, Alyssa. Put your guard up. Good. This is what I want when I say Muay Thai stance. So that's step one. So that, that means that step two could be hot tin roof. So step one, stance with the guard. Step two, hot tin roof. So we're not still and we're relaxed. Because hot tin roof makes you relax. Step three is to make a step with your foot before the kick. And step four is the execution of the kick, the actual kick itself and the arm driving down. Step four, they're back to stance. So if I say step one, Alyssa's going to do it. Ready? Step one, two, three, four. Perfect. That was excellent execution of each of the steps. Watch this one more time. Listening steps. One, two, three, four. Very nice. Good work. Awesome. That is exactly what I'm after and I'll, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to be going back to normal soon and then that's what we're going to be looking for. We're going to be looking for the techniques to be like that. Spot on. Alright, like I promised, let's do some rolls. Okay, so. You can do three rolls, three cartwheels, guys. Okay, you ready? So let's make sure there's no furniture in the way, there's nothing in the way. Alright, come back over here, guys. Alright. Okay, do it this way towards the camera. Ready? Three rolls. Or three cartwheels. Alright, now three forward rolls. Watch out for your sister.
What about three backwards rolls? I can't do them. You can try. Try. Oh. There you go, that's one. Can you do another one? Yeah. I'm dizzy. Dizzy? Two. And one more. Uh. What about three sausage rolls? So we're going to go a bit of a rock and a roll and then we go. That's one. Go two more, go the other way. That's two, one more. I'll go the other way. Can you do it with me? Rock and roll. We're going to go that way, Sophia. Ready? Go. Nearly. Can you do it, Alyssa? Oh, good job. And sitting down. Oh, that made me a bit dizzy. We did cartwheels. Yes, we did. All right, sitting down. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for joining me today. I would really like to see a few more guys on the Zoom. I'll be able to give a lot more feedback and be able to get a bit more interactive. But thanks for joining me. And really looking forward to getting back to normal as soon as possible. And hope to see you guys soon. Okay, thank you.